Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys today as Joe Kelly, one of our head moderators, does his weekly Sunday video series. And today we have episode 33 in which he's going to talk about the infamous process and an extended version of it. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. How's it going, everybody? So this week we're going to talk about the process. So Bao has talked about this several times. Alex has, Tosh has, Nico had when he was here. Chicago has, I have. We all have different processes, but they're all very similar in each in each way. But we all have different habits that we like to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is basically compile together what uh, each of us have discussed and kind of summarize it for you guys that way that each time you're approaching a trade idea or a thesis or a plan, whatever you want to call it, um, you're able to kind of adapt this in your own way that you would uh, use. Pre-market. First off, when we wake up, we go through our morning routine, we're going to run our scam. This is a free scanner right here for Thinkorswim that will show you the gappers. Uh, you can just copy that link right there and paste it in your Thinkorswim. You have to do what's called open shared item. Just Google how to do that. Uh, <clears throat> so many videos out there for it. Then you want to add a column on that scanner. And you want to add the column mark percent change. That percent change is going to be as of like uh, pre-market data and so on. You're going to filter those from the largest to the smallest if you want to see the biggest gappers. Um, and then anything up 40% or more is generally what's on my watch. It's just my personal preference. These are MIC's three go-to patterns like I've talked about. The first bounce or the first resistance short. The first bounce is the long setup. First resistance short, obviously short setup. Death line. Uh, or the or a low hanging fruit. Again, a low hanging fruit are the plays that end up conforming much better to their intraday levels. Next, we begin the dig. So this is where now we've looked at our scanner, we've looked at the chart, we've identified key levels. Now uh, we've also confirmed and we've classified the pattern. Now we've confirmed the technicals with our uh, uh, data. Now what we do is now we're going to check the news. Okay. And the reason why I do this last, this, and again, this is just me. This is just me personally. You could do this first. It doesn't really matter. But to me, the reason why I do this last is because my technicals are the most important. Okay. The fundamentals or the digging is supposed to confirm my technicals much like um, the data does. So if I'm looking at the technicals first, I'm unbiased really. Uh, I'm able to look at it and go, is this a long, is this a short, is this a long, is this a short, whatever it may be. Uh, <coughs> obviously most of the time I'm just going to go short. but. Uh, if I looked at the filings first, always, I'm always going to be biased for the short. And I'm almost, I'm going to have a hard time avoiding the short if it's not a short. And and I just want to short it because it's just so, the filings are so bad. Small caps, most of the time, 99% of the time, the filings are awful. So that's why I look at them last. Because I just assume they're going to suck. 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.